guys, I'm gonna show you how to make a really great and quick, quick dish. It's actually pretty good for summertime. It's called Aunt Patty's Baked Crispy Chicken. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you all the steps, okay? Um, so let's watch, enjoy. Okay, so right here I'm looking at my original, uh, you know, steps, list of steps for Aunt Patty. You're going to need a half cup flour. You're going to need, um, by the way, that's a piece of corn, not hair, I promise. Uh, two tablespoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of garlic, a teaspoon of chili powder. All these are powders. And then paprika, salt and pepper, and cayenne pepper to taste. I actually never put cayenne in, but it was good when I had it. Um, so you're going to put that all into uh, the flour, the half cup of flour, and you're going to mix it together. I'm going to set that oven to 450, which I actually already did. That's pretty hot. And then, um, oh, I just remembered I forgot my pizza. Pizza! Okay, I'll get it out in a second. Anyway, so, um, and then after the first 20 minutes, you're going to flip it and then keep it for 15 more minutes and it will come out crispy. Some quick tips, season the chicken first, make sure it is dry and then use a nonstick pan, which I don't exactly use. I use parchment paper, but I ran out. So I have foil right now. I'm gonna probably grease it with some oil even though there's really no oil involved in this recipe. Okay, so I just rinsed my chicken. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a wing washer. I like to wash my wings, so just get any of the little bits and pieces of stuff off of it. And then, um, this is 31, there's 15 little leg drummets, they call it, and then 16 wingettes, okay? So I find that the Bill and Evans, Bell and Evans, yes, what they call them, um, those are pretty good. The skinnier or the smaller, scrawnier or whatever you want to call it, the better. And um, that's because we tried to use like those you know, really meaty ones once, and they just, I don't know, maybe it just wasn't crispy, so, but they were still delicious, the flavor was there. All right, so I'm in a, uh, I'm kind of just letting it sit on paper towel, I'm going to have to throw that out, and uh, I was trying to drain it a little bit, because I didn't really let it sit for a very long time, I'm doing this pretty quickly, so, all right, so they're washed, and they're sitting, and I'm going to continue showing you what to do. Okay, so I had to put my glasses on, and I have to just tell you, I can't really smell very well because I'm getting over being sick, and so I sometimes, you know, become a little adventurous with the seasonings and everything, so I, I guess I should probably control that this time because, you know, I can't really taste anything, but um, this is what happens when you can't smell. Like, I didn't even know this was still in the oven because I couldn't smell it. I'm not gonna eat it either. Probably can't taste it. Anyway, back to this. So we're gonna start with that flour mixture I was telling you about. So I have my little plastic bag. You know. Here's half a cup, half a cup right here. I'm just gonna go put it straight in the bag, right there. And you might be thinking, okay, half a cup? How's that gonna be enough for like 31 little wingettes and stuff? But you'll see, it's gonna be amazing. Okay, so we're gonna need two tablespoons of baking powder, so, you know, good old baking powder. Um, tablespoons, you know, those are the, the big ones, okay? Not something you want to have all the time, but, you know, a little indulgence, making wings with no oil. I mean, come on. So, so that, that's one. And, uh, that's two. I use this a lot, as you can see. All right, and put this away for next time. Okay, so, so far that's already there, and I like to kind of mix as I go. So I just kind of like comb it through with my spoon. This is a very uh, bootleg video, so sorry for the bad angles. Um, anyway, one teaspoon of garlic. So, got that. Just take my little teaspoon, well, can't really get it in there, so I'm gonna take the cover off. Oop, that's off. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so teaspoon, teaspoon, pour it in, pour it in, pour it in, pour it in. 
With garlic, you know, you can go a little bit over. It's not a big deal. And then put the cover back on. And then what else? I, I still can't always have it memorized. So, um, you know. Oh, chili. Sorry. We need to get some chili. Chili powder. What is that? Oh, that's crushed red pepper. Sorry, this is um, not the best angle. Okay. Ah, there we go. Chili powder. So, stick that in there. And this might be a lot. But remember, I'm not, I'm not really using cayenne in mine. Although, if you like a little bit of heat, you know, go for it. So, and that's it. That's my little mixture. So I'm just gonna, you know, push that thing around. I'll do it here so you can't, so you can't really see it anyway. And um, and then that's it. But remember what Aunt Patty's tips were. You should really season your meat. Yeah, season your meat. So I'm gonna tie my hair back. I'm gonna get my hands in the meat. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I told you I like to experiment a little bit. Well, you know, I have my wings, like the, um, I should say the wingettes over here. You can't really see them, they're a little bit off camera. But then over here I have my drumettes. So let me just show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead with the salt. Oh, that's what I forgot to put into my flour mixture. Salt and pepper and paprika to taste. So I'm not quite done with the flour. I'll just go back and show you how I do that. But let me just, so I kind of remember as I go. There's my salt, and then I'm doing it over here, you know. And then people think that's too much, but you'd be surprised. Kind of like get rubs off, so it actually comes out all right. Uh, pepper. I just love the sound of pepper. So there's that, and then paprika. Actually, I like to do garlic, not paprika, on directly on. Paprika's fine, but I already have it in the flour, so it's fine. It's actually a very faint taste in my opinion, anyway. All right, so now I just found this because here's what I normally like to use. I'll just show you really quickly. I normally like to use a little extra seasoning, Emerald's Original Essence all-purpose seasoning blend but I cannot find this anywhere so my husband really likes it so I'm gonna keep it on the flat backs you know the wingettes because that's what he really wants and then uh, I hope you can hear me over my family <laughs> and then the rib rack spice rub chicken flavor I'll just try it on the drumettes that he doesn't really like and we'll see if it's good so adventure Oh, this looks like it has curry in it or turmeric or something yellow. You know? And then over there. Yeah. I could even, sometimes I'll put this right into the flour, but I really, really want to taste it. So, or my husband to taste it since I'm not sure I will taste it. I actually have been tasting things. I just can't smell as well. So, uh, I'm not smelling it so much, but that's okay. So, I'm going to put my hands in there turn it around I like to do that I like to feel my meat and um, turn everything upside down because why because we want to flavor both sides right the other side is like come on what in the world so so there you go and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side for both of them okay all right Okay, so I just finished seasoning both sides of my chickens, and remember I had the flour mixture and I forgot to put salt, pepper, and paprika, so I'll just show you really quickly how much I put in there. Not a lot, but enough, I call it. So, and that's it, because I already seasoned the actual chicken, so I don't have to overdo it there. And then we have a little bit of pepper, kind of eyeball pepper because, you know, you can see it. Unless you're using white pepper in white flour, you're not going to see it so well. And it's a few little turns there. And then, like I said, um, 
Oh, I did this one with the paprika. Paprika. Okay. So here we go with that. All right. So there you go. So, and then I just go back and forth with that and mix it around. And now I have what I need. So I'm going to start to take the food and stick it in, shake it around, and I'll show you how I shake it up. I can actually fit a whole bunch in here. Maybe other more patient people would do like five at a time. Uh, we'll see how many I can fit in comfortably, okay? I'll show you. So here I have my 16 wingets, okay, or wingets or flatbacks, whatever you call them. But I have them in there, and then I'm just going to kind of now really make sure the top is tight, you know, my little plastic bag. And then I'm just going to shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, okay? And everything's covered. And then when I go to take them out, I'll just show you how I do one of them. You really, really want to shake off that excess flour so I just kind of will just I'll just show you how I just kind of bang it against the side what I'll do is I'll just really go like oh where is a better angle I just kind of like really shake it out into the flour bag okay so that's what I do sorry for my underarm <laughs> and um, I'm gonna line it up on the on the tray okay so 16 little hat flatbacks and this is what's left of the flour but you'll be amazed it's gonna cover all of this chicken and that'll be 31 I don't have to do a whole cup of flour because this will be enough you'll see sometimes it's nice to have a little company to help you when you're doing your you know shake Shake. Shake, 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 I'll shake my own chicken. <laughs> what song should we shake to? Stop it. Alright. It's time to have some tomatoes. Oh, well, not yet. <laughs> Alright, so they're, they're all covered. Move your hands, Therese. They're all covered, and I'll even show you. I don't even have to do a lot of shaking off the excess flour because... There's just enough flour on each one. Sure it is. See? Yes. It's coated sure just like that. It is. And I'm just gonna put it right there on the on the tray and go wash your hands. <laughs> okay, so all chickens are floured and look. Still have a little left over. This bag is ready for the garbage. Okay, let me show you how it looks. Now one thing I forgot to do was line the um, or drizzle some oil all over the foil pan oil on the foil but you know what I can do I'll drizzle the oil right over the top of the chicken and then I'll flip it and do it again and there'll be just enough oil to crisp up but not make it soggy at least that's what I hope we'll find out together because I don't have any more parchment paper let's find out Okay, so here are our uncooked little chickens. We've given them a lot of attention. And I'm just going to do a quick little drizzle. I'll show you how I do my little drizzle. Ooh, where are you? Come on out, drizzle. And it's not, you know, it's not great. And I, that actually might even be enough. Uh, I'm just going to flip them over just like this. Literally flip them over. And that's it. I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to pop them in. I don't think I'm going to do any more oil because, well, Aunt Patty's recipe does not call for oil. Okay, so that oven is hot. I just put them in. And it's time to close up. And uh, let's see. Dinner's going to be late tonight. But uh, about 35 minutes, this should be done. And 
don't forget that it's after 20 minutes you're gonna flip so we just put it in 552 553 so that brings us to about 613 ish if I'm not mistaken in my math to to flip them okay so I'm gonna set an alarm and uh, do that and it is 613 just as we said so we're gonna take a look at how these are coming out right now Ooh, nice color on those guys so I'm gonna take them out and then we're gonna flip them put them back in for 15 minutes okay so this is it I got my fork and I'm just gonna literally just flip them over they're not sticking too badly thank goodness I'll probably use a two fork I'll put the camera down and do two forks just so I can do it faster flip them all over and stick them back in Okay guys, so that was um, arduous. Uh, that took twice as long as it should have taken because of um, the stickiness. I actually ended up using the ends of the forks to do the flipping. I'll tell you why. If you take your regular part of your fork and you stick it on foil, this part will never taste the same again. It'll be like when you um, lick a battery. It's just not good. Don't do it. Um, so. I use this part okay and then <clears throat> it's still kind of sticky I'm, I'm I'm gonna tell you I'm nervous I'm not gonna overcook these guys so 15 minutes is all it's gonna be it's now 619 by the time they get in 620 so these should be done by 635 um, in the meantime while those were cooking up I boiled up some corn some little bow tie pasta there you see the vapor and then I also washed some fruit and vegetables and I have some store-bought um, favorite salad dressing and some cheese and I'll show you what we do with that for the side dish. Okay, so what we can do with a little bit of pasta and some corn, actually you only took one little piece of corn and took off some of the kernels. I have some uh, mozzarella, but I think provolone would have been a little better in a salad because it's not such a soft cheese as the mozzarella. But anyway, it's still, still tasty. Got cucumbers, just two little mini ones chopped up, and then some tomatoes. And not even a whole uh, red pepper here, just diced up. Gonna put it all together, and that'll make a nice little pasta salad with some dressing. You can season as you go, as they say, salt and pepper. And then the olive oil will be enough, probably. But I have dressing, so I'm going to go with that. And then it'll be good to eat even, you know, room temperature or if you're cooking it, taking it someplace. And I uh, hope you uh, like the way it comes together. and that's how much time 15 minutes it took to just chop those up and get ready to mix that all together and take out our chicken don't worry I just threw in a little leftover salmon in there oh by the way if you're wondering what the green flecks were in the uh, pasta it was just some chopped up basil all right here we go and that's it guys how great do you think it feels to just take all this foil mess here and just throw that right into the trash. If you know what it's like to fry over the stovetop for, you know, at least an hour, it's kind of miserable. So that's a good feeling. And half the time. So there you go. Um, we'll do the quick taste test and see if anybody really likes this. I tried to put the, um, try to separate them a little, but I think that didn't work so great. But anyway, and there's my pasta salad all assembled. All right, let's go for our dinner. So kids, here my mom cooking. My mom did a beautiful job, didn't she? She loves it. She loves doing that, kids. So we're gonna taste test. All right, put the plates on the table for me. <laughs> okay, so the family is all ready to eat, and here we are. And let me just tell you guys about the chicken really quickly. The ones that have the little legs, 
have that seasoning, that new one I was telling you about, and the one oh, I told you my husband was going to go for the flat back. Flat back. So, flat um, back. Oh, you have a flat back too? Okay, everybody try one and let us know. It's good. All right, there's texture, there's flavor, and there's, uh, what's the other third yeah. component of food? Oh, appearance. Don't know what's on that okay. okay, so anyone want to describe how it actually tastes? Or all right, in the meantime, while they're figuring that I'm out. I'm going to make this thing some... for my wife. I'm oh, wow. going to make this for my wife. I'm getting, over the, I'm getting Score. over the deliciousness. All right, so this is the, some blue cheese, some Chick-fil-A sauce. You can use your own store-bought sauce to dip it into or just eat it like, mm -hmm. like that. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Anybody have any comments? Anybody want to try the one with the leg? Because it's a new seasoning. Mm. You know what? Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I'll try it if anybody wants me to try it real quick. Here, let me just try the yeah, one. I'm I'll tell you guys really quickly how it tastes because remember, I can't smell, but I can still taste. Oh, I can smell that a little bit. Yeah, I could. Mmm. Mm. I don't know if you could hear, but there is a crunch there. Nice little crisp to it. And um, pretty good. A little salty. A little salty, so I probably shouldn't have done too much of that one, but. Because I already put salt. So, anyway, mm. there you go. Thank Delicious. you. Good so job. enjoy your dinner with your family. Beautiful. All right, thank you. And enjoy mm -hmm. everybody. Say bye. Thank bye. you. <laughs> bye. Can't wait. <laughs>、how many have you had so far? One, two, three, four, five. Three.、Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, maybe you have a better angle. So tell us how does it taste? How would you describe it? Good. And good. As you can see, I had this.、Season. Oh, you wait. It broke、uh, your tooth. <laughs> that's not a that's compliment. Not oh, okay. Yeah. I and. So tell us, like, how would food, how would you describe the chicken? The food in here is delicious. Yeah, but your hands in your mouth. I mean, the, this is impeccable. But impeccable. Oh, the, the chicken's chicken, almost gone. The chicken's pretty good. Can you、um, tell us any other words besides good to describe it? Like perfect. Like like the corn was perfect. Oh wait. Oh, I eat, 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 eat. oh wait, what's going on here? Oh no no, Sharice, how many are you taking? Our little list will, among us. I will put back one. Okay, can you tell us any of the words that you would use to describe it? I love it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Never mind. I、Delicious. love the cheese. The cheese. Yeah,、oh. it's delicious. Okay. Yes.、Yeah, so, help yourself with a little bit of glaze.、Uh, this is from Aya Baroni Brothers.、Um, it's served us well for many years. There's almost none left. You can't really tell. And look. And look. It's almost one more, empty. One more. Great. With, uh, Look in here. Oh. That's what you pulled in. You didn't just take another chicken. Yes. Alrighty. Okay.、Yeah. Alright. You still living with your parents? Yeah. Okay. Alright. <laughs>